In Florida, convicted killer Ted Bundy is continuing to make 11th hour confessions with less than a day to go before his scheduled execution. Bundy now has confessed to a total of 20 killings. Washington State, Utah, Idaho, and Colorado. Earlier, he'd been convicted of three murders in Florida. Authorities say his last-minute confessions are an effort to delay his execution, something that Florida's governor says he does not intend to allow. Have you ever physically harmed anyone? Ever physically harmed anyone? No. I just want to point that out for future generations to know that according to me anyway, culturally speaking, our fascination with serial killers has increased over, sure. the, over the years, sure. which I don't know what that means. Well, what do you think that means? Well, I mean, there, there's, it, it's an archetype of this sort of thing that we are not accustomed to in daily life, which is the totally animalistic uh, killer who... Uh, and you know, in the way it's portrayed, as we've talked about before, it's it's sort of like super intelligent, very devious, very careful planning, the ultimate anti-hero. And then if you add into into the Ted Bundy mythos, like oh, and he's charming and good looking and all these things, I think it it becomes really uh, an intriguing proposition for many people. In his car, he had what we would call burglary tools. The ski mask, pantyhose with the eyes cut out. He had a pair of handcuffs. I says, what do you use handcuffs for? I'm a law student, he says, I use them in my classes. You are not guilty. I'm not guilty. <laughs> And through the time I stole a comic book when I was five years old, <laughs> I'm not guilty of the charges which you can file against me. And the allegations, and the allegations, the rumors, I don't know all of what you're speaking about, Lucky. It's too broad and I can't get into it in any detail. Uh, but I'm satisfied with, with my blanket statement that I'm innocent. No man is truly innocent. Uh, I mean, we all have transgressed in some way in our lives. And as I say, I, I've been uh, impolite, and uh, there are things I regret having done in my life. Uh, but nothing like the, the things I think that you're referring to. just sort of played back in my mind how Ted was always described by everybody as being boyish. You know, boyishly handsome, you know, boyish demeanor. And the more I thought about it, the more it occurred to me that he wasn't just boyish, but he was a boy. He seemed to be about 12 years old.
how do you feel yeah. about the justice system in general based on your <laughs> well i'm sure it works and you've got to have faith it'll work or else you'd be you'll be reduced to some kind of uh, you know mumbling idiot uh, i believe it works i believe it needs to be improved when you mention improvements does that mean uh, ultimately you want to uh, get involved in the criminal justice system? Well, <laughs> yes i intend to complete my legal education and become a lawyer and uh, be a damn good lawyer so yeah, I asked my mom if she what she remembered, and she said that it was terrifying. Because imagine, uh, imagine Ted Bundy's on the loose in that community, in your town, and at at oh, the park that you go to all the time. Right, and you're a young woman, like and my, you have friends that are young women. Yeah, and you don't have cell phones. You don't have. Oh self-defense you don't have security cameras it's just like he could be anywhere all across the state of Washington Dan Hawkins was last seen Monday evening when someone was abducting young women it's hard to tell whether there's any foul play or not there was incredible pressure on law enforcement to find the person who was responsible now another element of Ted Bundy that I think fascinates people is he appeared to be resourceful like if you think about the escape from Colorado and how he made it all the way to Florida and he rode a bus I think he flew in an airplane for part of the way there might have been a train involved and stealing a car involved as well. He really, with no money or little money, presumably when he escaped, he went from state to state with hardly any resources and managed not to get arrested. The diagnosis of psychopathy is uh, varied depending on who you're talking to, but let's look at the hair conceptualization since it's the um, dominant one. Uh, number one, Berto, pathological lying. Absolutely. Uh, number two, glib and superficial charm. Yes. Three, ga grandiose sense of self. Absolutely. Number four. Was this designed, was this like, hey, let's just describe Ted Bundy. You quickly realize, especially when he ends up you know, defending himself in court. <laughs> right. That he thinks that he is a god. Yeah. He thinks he's going to get off. Yeah. And he doesn't really know how to defend himself. Like, right. it's would have been more likely if he kept his lawyers that they would have actually been able to help him somehow. Yeah. But when anyway. he fires his lawyers. Yeah. He insults them. He, he believes that essentially not only is he able to argue against anything and anyone, but that the world will see that truth. Right. So that is narcissism in that he's shooting himself in the foot. He doesn't, he doesn't just have an overblown sense of self. Like he has a pathologically delusional overblown right. sense of self. Right, right. Was there something special about Ted Bundy that helped him to evade capture? And if you look at it, if you look at the circumstances, again, that occurred, that we see in the 70s, the context, and then you look at his personality characteristics, which potentially would be related, of course, to psychopathy and narcissism, I don't really see him as that special. I think circumstances lined up for him. He certainly had some abilities that he was able to exploit, to manipulate people and to harm people, but I don't see him as that special. 
I don't think he was an evil genius uh, or a criminal mastermind or something like that. For me, he was just a person who had characteristics that appeared to line up with what his goals were, which was murdering people. And then he was in a time when he was able to get away with that because he was one of the first people that did that. So again, I don't really see Ted Bundy as special. I don't think what he did really merits all the attention that he's been given. He was just really another serial killer, another person that caused devastation and havoc in the lives of so many innocent people.